Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, I'm sure your hair is getting scraggly like mine. Your nails are looking horrid. Um, but your homes, your homes are most definitely not looking horrid. So, um, good news, man. This virus has been bad, bad, bad. But some good things have come from it. And uh, it really shows. We had a before and after contest um, for people to go out there, show us what they've been doing with their homes during the the COVID crisis while you're kind of in lockdown. Um, we got some great entries we pulled uh, for our winner just recently and um, Heather Choate was um, our winner. She did a fabulous front door makeover. Um, literally all she did was paint it black, lay down a really great floor mat and her front door went from drab to fab in no time. So awesome. So people are asking me, what should I be doing right now? You know, um, it, should I be selling? Should I, should I be buying? Well, the answer to that is, you know, only you can answer. Um, you are the one that has to make the decision if you're ready to do something like that. But I can give you data, just like doctors are giving data about the COVID virus. I can give you data about what's going on in the market. Um, so today I pulled the um, pending reports for properties in Clear Creek ISD, Friendswood ISD, and Pearland. And um, it's good news that lots of houses are selling, which means that lots of buyers are buying and it's across all the spectrum of price values. So it's not, you know, hey, just the richer are getting richer, but it's everyone. Everyone is jumping in the market. Um, so it's not horrible. Um, I am seeing that um, listings are down about 10% over last year, um, which is tightening the market. That's helping to keep home values um, still or flat. So they're not decreasing like people would have thought they were going to do. So I have some numbers to share with you and um, I'm going to pull out the first one, which I'd like for you to look at. So our first report is for Friendswood and you can see on this report that 19 homes have gone pending within the last 10 days. Our next report is for the Clear Lake area in which you can see that 76 homes have gone pending in the last 10 days. And for Pearland, we have 23 homes that have gone pending in the last 10 days. That's a lot of people buying homes, y'all. This next report also shows that, that buyers are out looking. The numbers have started to move up a bit here. So you can see the news is pretty good. Um, properties are moving. Real estate is starting to wake up. In the last couple of days, I've had several phone calls of people that are ready to list their homes. Um, I have two coming up in Friendswood uh, that will be listing probably in the next week or two weeks. I have two more that are likely to come up very soon. Uh, my son has a listing in Polly Ranch. And oddly enough, um, you know, it flooded. It had two feet of water in it. And yet here he is this week. He has three offers on that property. So buyers are starting to wake up. Sellers um, are starting to, to get their homes out there. So I always tell people this. It's best to be the first one on the market. So I wouldn't wait too long. Um, if you're thinking about selling, go ahead and get, you, get working on it. Get your house going because um, there could be a flood of homes on the market. And you don't want to be... Um, the one of many. You want to be the one of few. So keep that in mind. Um, one last thing that I would like to share with you are my pending properties. Um, this is just some more data, just, you know, like with the COVID virus, you know, their barometer is testing, you know, ours is, is sales prices and pendings. Um, and right now my pendings, I've got several that are pending. I'm going to show you the report in just a moment. Um, these are all my listings except for one. One was um, I did represent the buyer, but all of them went within just a few days and most of them with multiple offers. This is all during the time of the COVID crisis. So don't think that it is all lost. Um, what should you be doing now? What you should be doing now is getting your homes, you know, beautiful, make them beautiful. Um, your home, you're with your family, you've got all hands on deck, take advantage of it. Um, I noticed that some of my neighbors all got together and power washed and uh, wow, it looks so awesome. Um, it really um, is uplifting when you get to drive through your neighborhood and see that everybody has such pride and ownership. So that's it for today. Um, we might do another um, before and after prize winning drawing. So uh, keep watching my Facebook page for that. Um, and we'll talk again next week. Hopefully in a few weeks, we'll all have way better looking hair and way better looking nails. Um, so until then, we'll talk again, 
and um, everybody hang in there. We're thinking about you. Hope you're staying safe, and definitely we hope you're staying sane um, because I know that that's a struggle right now. So y'all take care. Bye now. Here's that last report I wanted to share with you. These are my pending properties in which you can see that um, all of these went pending during the pandemic uh, within just a, a few days. Um, so properties are still selling. If you wanna know what's happening in your area, just give me a call at 713-444-5616 and um, I can run you a report like this to review. Y'all have a great day, bye-bye.